me up and drop We just couldn't get them off Every woman from the lock Kept them running from me cock Close the pull and then we jock Start running round the block I ride me sign on me back Wearing nut and put me socks Put the R running shock So I'm heading the black It had to be that fucker nugget When he done that uh, thing I licked that bucket line and killed me When he said that I, I, The fucking ground could have swallowed me up Like it was just so perfect I walked into a wall with that one So nugget the fat fucker it had to be Soul Can from Grind Time. Bodies every fucking, even when he's shit, he's deadly. If he fucks up, he throw in a flip, that will kill the whole fucking battle. Soul Can, I'm gonna battle you. Worst battle out has to be MC Dove by a country mile. The chap was awful, and he's never allowed to battle ever again because he's crap. I like the DFI logo. I was there, it was fairly painstaking to do it. And I respect it, shout out to Jeebus because, you know, we done it on the quick. This whole fucking DFI switch was pretty quick, you know that way, and, and Jeebus kind of stood up to the plate. And it's not his best work, you know that way, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 the logo doesn't matter. It's what you do with the battles is, is the main thing. But shout out to Jeebus and Terrorist and Reza. The Lady Nugget. Slaughtered the chap. He, he hadn't had a chance of fairness, let's be honest. Like, he was lucky to get OT. Now, uh, I think Nugget beat me in three. Uh, he said some hopeful things, and that girl's allowed ginger lion thing was just fucking cruel as well. So, yeah, Nugget again, B bastard. My favourite battle so far, probably the Nugget one because, well, yeah, Nugget because I didn't know what to expect showing up to it, and it was the most nervous during that battle and it turned out to be a fucking great battle on the day like the two of us fucking uh, just we both really enjoyed hearing each other and sold each other whereas I didn't get that with a lot of other people you know that way but me and Nuggets battle it just it was just so much fun to do as opposed to the it got real serious after that so the Nugget battle depends on the opponent if I know them I don't prep I just kind of slack them for being mates and if Luke Blix sends it I had to go and check his shit because I never heard I don't know the deal so yeah, basically depends. Yes and no. I mean, being ginger, obviously people are going to come with me for being ginger, so I have some ginger rebuttals. I haven't even got to use yet, which is a bit fucking annoying. Like, but I mean, like, when I flipped it, kind of sense it, you're from Norwich, that was a freestyle. The fucking, his album, he invaded it, that was a freestyle. You know, and the, you know, I've been kind of freestyle on the spot. I don't bring rebuttals with me, but I just have loads of verses left over, so if somebody says something relating to something about me that I have a bar for anyway, I'll use that against them, but yes and no is the answer, like, but a lot of me rebuttals are free stuff. I think the MC Dove minus the last four bars was the best performance, my best performance so far. Part of his opponent on the day was Sensei, the dude bodied me. Uh, he actually made me feel pretty bad about myself like, and I was supposed to do that to him but he, he was just so clever. People complain about the order shit but he was just so clever where so sensei, you prick, you, you, you body me. Worst dressed battler without a shadow of a doubt would have to be Fats against Shapey. He showed up in a fucking cardigan made out of hemp. I don't know what he was thinking but just for doing that he lost the battle I think you don't ever do that again. You just look silly. I whooped Nugget in a fucking free. I mean, he claims to be sort of some sort of defender or something like that, but like, I mean, I'm a centre back. That the shit doesn't rub off on me. You know? I'm a centre back, and I can still catch the ball in the back of my leg, do a little flipsy, turn around, spin around, catch a do a 360 jet lead kick with the ball. You know that way. So he's no. I don't think he's any sort of excuses not to battle me. I think fear on his part is is kind of uh, one of the main reasons he doesn't want to battle. He dance around the subject a little bit, but I think he's just pretty much terrified to battle me. But I mean, I'm open. If any football or any don't flop battler from the UK, I mean O'Shea wants it. Me and O'Shea are going to football freestyle battle soon. Trust, when he comes over here, we're going to do a football freestyle battle. Bring a track to, uh, but yeah, I, the offer's there. If anyone wants to football freestyle battle me, give me a show. Holla at the boy. I think the stop Muhammad time against MC Dove went down a tree. And I think the one against Sensei where I've cut some rhythm, I heard a sense of track, no we fucking didn't, that went down the well, I got a lot of props for that one. If I had anyone that I could battle it would be a disaster, just to get me left over MC Dove lines out, 
and I reckon it'd be the most racist but funny battle ever. So disaster, stall it over. Now, I think certain people have certain ideas of what they're looking for. If you, like, if I'm judging, I, a, I judge it round for round. I don't go out the whole battle. And two, I want you to make me laugh and have good punchlines. If you flow really well, but you're not saying shit, you're not getting the win. If, if someone is a bit choppy, but has whopper punchlines or more punchlines, then you're gonna get the, the vote off me anyway. Yeah, I think, uh, especially over in Ireland at the minute, because it's so new, and I think the Irish mentality is we like taking the piss out of each other. You know, I love personally watching slagging matches. When I'm around with the lads, we all have a slagging match and who can be the funniest. And when that's kind of on camera in a crowd full of people and it's done through rap, it's just fucking, it's brilliant. So I think definitely, definitely has a future in this country, at least anyway. I think Jambo was certainly one to look out for. A little dialect, uh, again, was fucking was quality. He's going to get better. Um, Terrorist is going to be in. He's certainly one to look out for. And uh, as far as down flop, uh, Tenchu, a big Tenchu at the minute. I think he's pretty good. And myself. Who's bringing your banging sounds, spitting lyrical missiles, trying to get out the underground like Elizabeth Fritz, and ripping the pages up stages, up possessing the best rhythm? I should be a hair driver. I'm fucking dead driven. I'm bringing you the rhythm quick to get your head nodding like you're sitting there watching Nicolette McLean jogging. I'm leaving your mouth open when I'm spitting these raps. You couldn't have stopped the mic smoking with a nicotine patch. A wicked mean chap spitting the sick of seeing raps, telling Billy McTain's that. To me, they look fat. A voice in the back of me head, so don't start, bro. Looking down the ratchet, they'll still see an arsehole. I spark blow when the party starts, then I'll be kicking a few flows like it's martial arts. I'm ripping the pristine, no steel or that. We don't bring possessing more six stains than a pedo ring. Stop acting like you need no chin, cause when I hit you, you'll be seeing four rappers like me Bebo skin. Here we go, let the free flow spin. And when I'm spitting, you'll be feeling so much wind. Call me a Nino's twin. Motherfucker! Classic. You can catch me on any of my channels from Dub Life or Class A on www.terrorist.com. It's up there. Reds are DFI CEO Class A. Reppin'.